Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Welcome to the channel. And um, I needed to bring out a video this week and I had no idea um, what to do. So I thought about um, if you guys ever thought or wondered how do I make my videos? How, what is the process that I take to make my videos? Some guys probably think that it's like two, three seconds and it's done, maybe an hour's work. I promise you it's not. This is a lot of, lot of work that I have to do to get a video out. So um, to start off, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I thought, let's just do something fun, something interesting. And then I can show you the process while I make the video the concept, the ideas, and then we'll watch the completed video at the end. Okay. Okay, so I'm using Filmora 9. This is the editing program that I use. So the first step, obviously, is to record whatever I need to record. So whatever project I do, I'll take my phone and I will record the, the work. In this case, we don't have a recording. I have uh, kind of a slideshow thingy planned for now so we're just gonna slap something together so the first thing obviously you need to do in the recording is have your intro where we start with good morning guys welcome back to the channel and then you pitch the concept now after you recorded everything all the bits and pieces is thrown onto the computer onto a file and then the editing starts editing takes the longest it honestly takes long but it's also magic. So anything you did wrong or you said wrong, you can actually edit it out and fix it. So we'll start now off with importing some stuff. Let's go to output folders and then first of all, we need an intro. So let's put our intro in there. That's our intro. Next of all, or next up, we would like to pitch an idea or we can just immediately go with a subscription video it's a video I also made with Filmora um, and it's already pre-done so all I have to do is insert it and there we have our intro and then the hi guys subscribe to my channel all the usual jazz if you like it give me a thumbs up if you don't like it you know that video so Let's start now to actually put this thing together. So what do we want to do? I think in this video, <clears throat> I used to write poems. When I was younger in school, I kind of had a bit of depression or maybe a little bit of a loneliness thing going. And when you're in that state, it actually helps to write stuff in books. And I found that I'm actually not too bad writing poetry. And I actually have two poems that is published by the Poetry Institute of South Africa. So I actually have two published works. And uh, I chose tonight to share with you one of my poems. But now, just reading a poem is going to be boring. Who wants to see that? So let's make it a bit interesting. Let's do an audiovisual thing. Let's have a scenery. We have some music for the background to set the mood and we will read the poem and we create the poem into a story that's the concept that's the idea that I have so now we've got the intro we've got the this subscription message so let's see what we can do next I've already created a file on my desktop for this called lovers how interesting so we highlight everything and we open it. So it starts putting everything in a list for me. Now the first thing we need to do is we have to take the poem and read it piece by piece. Hmm. Hold on, let me get the book. Ah, uh, the magic of editing. What felt to you like an instantaneous moment 
was actually maybe five minutes. Looking for the book, drinking a cup of coffee, taking out the poem. So, editing works. Okay, so we have our poem and now we can start to put it together. So, here we go. Meandering Pass. This is the actual book in which my poem is published. Uh, just to let you guys know that I'm not stealing this from anyone else. I'm not a fraud. Here is the letter from the Poetry Institute confirming my poem. And my poem is on page 100. And one, if I'm not mistaken. This one is called Come to Me. And there it is. That's my poem. But the one we are going to do today is not this one. It's another one that was published in the other book, which I did not buy. Just in case somebody wants to get some clever ideas. Okay, so my idea for this poem was actually quite nice. Having a person on horseback. Let's see, what can we do? Let's have somebody riding in a forest. There we go. A mysterious stranger riding in the forest. Okay. Then. Um, okay. Just a simple picture like that. Well, you know what? Let's move this one a bit further. And insert this one first. Let's create a scenery. And then we have the mysterious stranger that is riding through the forest. And he hears something. And then, as he approaches this one, let's put in this one. And then we can put in this one. <laughs> yeah, let's make it saucy. Let's put in this one. And then lastly, to end it off, so let's put in this one as our last one. Okay, now before you guys want to give me shit about the characters don't look the same, like I told you, it's pictures I took from in my archive, so it's not going to look the same. It's the idea that counts. Okay, so there we have it. We've got the pictures that we need. Short and sweet. Okay, next up. We need to put up some mood music. So, since this poem is starting off as a mysterious poem, then turning into a bit of a sad poem, and then turning into something like an exciting happy ending, we have to choose three types of music. So, I've got my, um, my headphones here. Okay, let's see. Um, where's my music? So we go to import again, media, and then uh, I've got all this copy free music that I've put into this one file because obviously we don't want any problems. So we can first listen to the songs. That's one of them that I want. Mystical. Okay. There's our mystical song. And lastly, that one. Okay, so now we've got our music. Now we need to adjust them the links you can have them fading in fading out and so on and we obviously we don't know how long the pictures has to be so we can adjust the length um, of the pictures display so we can do that as well okay let's start with the very first one let's first have our mysterious song
Okay, let's take it up to there. And then we cut it and we chuck away the spot. Okay, let's take the next one. The next one will be uh, this one. And then we cut it there. And then let's take our last one. Like there. That gives us about two minutes worth of music. So let's cut it there. Now, all I need to do is all the typing. And I need to do the, the recording. So unfortunately, I cannot record this and record what I need to record because I'm using the same mic. So we're using the magic of editing. I'm going to quickly stop this recording, finish this, and then we'll get back to this. So I'm ready. Three, two, one. Okay, we are kind of back. So let me quickly show you what I've done now. So. I made it easier for me to take a look at the the slides. So I'm moving the slides away from each other because we don't know how long sections we have to create. So as you can see, I've made this slide long because we have to start the poem in this slide. What you see now, what I've done is I've created the intro or the title of the poem. Well, you can look at the forest and the scenery and then the poem starts. So how I do that, is I add text here and you have custom you've got openers which is your intros you've got titles you've got your in credits and so on so I'm using lower thirds for this test and as you can see there's quite a lot of options for lower thirds so I want to use something that um, won't be too intrusive but will fit nicely on what we're trying to do uh, let's say something Lord, well, obviously not something with color. Something simple. Yeah, we can try that. Let's see how that works. And then, uh, yeah, we can drag this one out. Oh well, we can't drag it out. Actually, we're gonna have to add a lot of them next to each other. So we start off with the first sentence. Let's see how much. We can get into one line. Of course, I choose my favorites or my style, which is for this channel, which is chiller. And we make it a color that the people will be able to see. Like that is also a color I use basically. We move it out of the way so that it's not intrusive. And then Let's type, or let's see if we can type the first line. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've typed my first sentence. Now, let's see how it plays out. Now, the longer you make this block, the slower the words will appear. So, it's all going to depend on whether you want the guys to read with you, or... I'm going to read it anyway, so that's just for the guys who doesn't want to listen who want to read it for themselves. No, it, it, having a visual and audio together is more effective. And please don't judge me on the spelling because I can't spell with shit. So I'm not good with spelling. I'll try and spell as correctly as I can. I don't have spell checker on Filmora. So don't come give me shit because I can't spell. Okay. So as you guys can see, I've completed the first section. So now, it will read like this. Each section, or every uh, verse, will have its own section that's written. In the same style, and hopefully in the correct spelling. All we need to do now, is add the rest of the pictures, and the rest of the script. And then we will adjust the music, with the links and so on so the music can 
fall into the correct space where I want them and then we'll finally do the actual voice recording every picture is in its place and the whole poem is written out in its own little section with its own little words like this all that needs to be done now is the voice recording as I read the poem the way it's meant to be heard and then um, also what you can see is I've turned the, the volume down on, on the music totally so I will adjust the volumes accordingly and I will change the lengths of the songs to fit the sections that I want them to fit in so uh, while I do the voice recording I obviously cannot record this one as well so I'm quickly going to stop again do the voice recording and then uh, we'll get back and finish this off okay guys so the voice recording is done so now we have to add the music where we want that and we obviously have to adjust the volumes of the music so it doesn't um, overpower the voice recording so we have to find out what is the correct volume <coughs> that we need okay guys so what I've done now is um, I have found the piece of music on the right section where I want it so I obviously don't want it to fade in because it already starts slow but I want it to fade out so we need to fade it out before we start the new song which is gonna fall right into place so uh, and we don't want any gaps in the music so the question is do we want this to fade in let's first sound uh, listen to what it sounds like okay so there we already saw that it starts off too slow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it here we're gonna take this out and we're gonna bring this part in immediately and let's listen to what it sounds like I think I can make the a little bit louder let's say 18 uh, let's bring this down to 20 you can hear the crickets in the background because it's night time while I'm doing the recording so okay it does mask it a little bit but I'm sure you're gonna be able to hear the crickets okay so let's get this section done and the last section done and then we uh, will take it from there awesome man bloody awesome I think this thing came out very nice so there we have it now all that's needed to be done is to export export meanings that we um, finalize the whole thing we just move this so luckily since this is my poem I actually did a couple of tweaks while I was doing this I mean I wrote this when I was I think 19 <laughs> and this is like almost 20 plus years later so yeah it's almost 20 years later so I tweaked it a bit so it sounds a bit more suitable for adults you know so anyway um, it's done I'm going to export it and then what I'm going to do is I have to re-edit this whole thing all over again so I'm going to take everything that I've recorded tonight I'm going to add it and I'm going to fit it in between the intro that piece and then I'll put this videos in that we've just recorded now and how I did it and then right at the end if you want to you can watch the complete uh, the completed poem or the completed end so anyway guys that's that that's how the process works and it's like this with every video that I make um, shoot the video first come back here cut it paste it edit it and then it's the uploads to YouTube and all the tags and all that nonsense so it honestly it takes a while it can take up to eight hours to make one video so a simple thumbs up or just a simple comment is really not a lot to ask anyway guys if you like this video please come back next time to this channel give me a thumbs up it's like this give me a thumbs up if you like this video 
if you want to chat you know drop a comment and then uh, well i hope to see you on the next one cheers a lover's song by me what sound is this that i hear a sound so sweet in my mortal ear a song of promise a song of truth a song that speaks of a lover's truth. The voice of this angel struck me hard. Her words of sadness were crushing my heart. For she sang a song of her lover's return. For she promised to wait for his return. She looked so lovely next to the stream. For a moment I thought I was in a dream. She looked real sad, for she loved him so. I felt her pain. To her, I had to go. She looked at me with her tearful eyes. The sight of me quickly dried her eyes. She held me tight, and our passion burned. For her long-lost lover has finally returned. The End